Hello everyone. In this video, we will go through the clustering with outliers visual for Power BI. This is a custom R visual available with Power BI. And as you can see, you can go to the Power BI site and just click on clustering with outliers and download the visual and use it. I've already downloaded the visual and I've imported that visual. You can, what you can do is create go to import a custom visual and import the visual from the place you've sort of saved the visual on i'll just click on the visual and it will become available to me on the canvas and i've got this data set with me which shows me the uh, protein consumption of different countries in europe in the 1970s and i'll use this so what i'll do is i'll use the white meat and red meat consumption and also try to find the outliers. So we've got this and we'll just select red meat, white meat and country. As you can see, it's showing us the different countries by their meat consumption. What we want to do is just create clusters and find some outliers. So we'll go to the format tab here. And Change the cluster definition from auto to scale. And as you can see, it's created two clusters for us with two different colors. And then you can also see the outliers. So what we'll try to do is we'll create an ellipse to get a better look at the visuals or the clusters. You go to visual appearance and just say draw ellipses. And as you can see here, it's created two clusters. One is red, one is green, and then there are some outliers. You can also draw the convex hull. So you can click on that and you can also draw the centroid. So we we'll make that on. As you can see here that we've got the cluster clusters with the centroid and the convex hull, and we can also see the outliers. You can experiment with the visual to uh, see, you can change the granularity of uh, your visual and as you can see, as you reduce the granularity, you get more outliers. And as you increase the granularity, you will get less outliers. So as you can see now, we've got a bigger cluster and there's just one cluster. You can experiment with the other options available to us. This is just to get you started with this visual. I hope you find this visual, this uh, video useful and thanks for watching this video.